It's almost 90 degrees out, and guess who wants to play with the ball? Today, guys, I'm going to show you, you know, these are your kind of average plastic flower box, window box rigs, and it's faux terracotta. It's plastic painted that terracotta color, you know? So I thought, let's make this look nice in a cheap, free way using some pallet wood and some paint I have. All right? Ready? Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. First thing we gotta do, break down the pallet. I don't have my pallet breaker bar that I, I didn't invent it, but I built one. There's a link to the video at the end of this video. So I'm gonna use some crowbars and a hand sledge and take this apart. This is mainly oak, by the way, which is very exciting. All right, this isn't going anywhere too fast, so plan B. Not bad, huh? It's a lot of wood. So we're gonna take some of this and clad it around this like that. So we're basically gonna build a box. We want the lip of this to be below the wood. We don't want it up like that because it looks ugly. We want it to be below like that so you can't see it. But yet um, this stuff doesn't hold the soil so it doesn't rot. This holds the soil so this doesn't rot. This doesn't rot because it's plastic, terracotta plastic, right? So. We're gonna build just kind of a fun little box, okay? So I'm gonna build a box out of a big piece and a small piece, be kind of like that. And then this will sit inside that. And what I want is I want a three inch overlap on either end of where this box is gonna be. And you'll see what I'll do with that later. We're gonna do the corners in kind of a nice way here. So I'm gonna measure this and add six inches to this, which is uh, 23 and a half. So 26 and a half. You wanna make sure not to put the saw through the nail heads here. I'm gonna leave the nail heads in because I kinda like them. A little safety tip there. And then for the sides, I need four pieces at seven and three quarters. So two big ones and two small ones at seven and three quarter. Your dimensions may be different depending on the pot you get. I can't hear myself. Um, all right, so we also need some corner supports for this. This is, I said this was oak. This is poplar, the skinnier stuff's poplar, which is interesting. This stain's a really pretty color if you want. So I'm gonna use the um, studs of the palette to be the corners of the box. So these I'm gonna cut to this height. Okay, watch out for the nails. Saw with the nails, bad thing. So I'm gonna build the sides first and then we'll connect the, so the front and the back. And to do this, I'm gonna use a brad nailer. These are really handy. I'll link below to the ones that I suggest you get. Um, but I'm gonna brad nail it and then after we put it all together and it fits, then we'll screw it together. The beauty of the brad nailer is, um, these are the brad nails. They're thin, they go in quick and if you wanna take it back apart again, you just break it apart because you know I'm gonna to have to take it apart because I'm not real good at this. So I want this to be flush and then these are a little shorter on purpose. Let's 
see? Then that's all together, and then if I mess that up, I could just break it apart. So these are my sides, and the studs, I call them the studs, go on the outside. And then my pot, well the flower box is going to be in the inside, and that serves as our spacer for lining up these. This beat up edge here. That's okay with me. Needs a little work. Um, this one corner's a little off, but that way I can just knock it out because I just brad nailed it and straighten that out. Now the key thing here is we have to have some support for the plastic tray in here. In the bottom. So what I'm going to do is cut a couple of pieces of wood to go across here to hold the weight in the box and then we got a beautiful thing. Made out of pallets. And then lay these right here. Like that. Boom, 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 holds that in. Good to go. Okay, we've got this assembled. Now we're gonna make sure it doesn't fall apart. You could glue this if you want, waterproof glue, wood glue, but I'm pretty happy with screw gun, screws. Ready? This is a really fun flip bit. I'll link below to the one I like to use. So you could leave this natural. Um, and it'll do quite fine for a number of years, but I like to paint them. You could brush paint them. If you brush paint them, it'll last longer with a primer coat and then a top coat. Quick and Dirty is um, just some high quality spray paint. I'll give this like three coats. I like this because it dries quick and it gets in all the little crevices and stuff. So white always works. Okay, it's like 85 degrees out here and you're in the sun. Why are you in the sun? Henry's scared of something, so she's hiding. And you are a knucklehead. So when is this finished? It's finished when you want it to be finished. You want kind of like a faux paint. It looks like the wood's coming through. Do you want it completely white? You want another color? You could stain it. You do whatever you want with this. It's, it's your flower box. I kind of like it kind of like this where the wood's poking through. All right? I love this idea of Instead of making a wooden flower box, you've got a nice wooden flower box that has a plastic liner so the wood won't rot. So when planting these things, I always think more is better. You want kind of like an overabundance in your flower boxes. That's at least what I think. So if you want more, what do I think? Uh, I have like 500 videos. You can click on the little Labrador icon to watch our channel. There's some relevant videos floating here as well. If you want to subscribe, subscribe and hit the little gray bell. That way you'll get a notification when we have more videos up. All right? So love hearing from you. Let me know your thoughts. How would you build this? What color would you make it? What plants would you put in? I'd like to hear that. See ya.